<laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Ugh, stop aiming that way! Ugh, my God, do you know how many runs I would be able to save if he didn't do that? God, I'm so tired of it. She's busy. I did permadeath rules for the original game. This is bad. Yeah. This is why I don't do this strategy in my normal attempts. I don't think Bill's gonna show up. Are you kidding me? Dude, I always said this would happen. You're fucked. You're completely fucked now. Wow. Okay, here's another lesson for you. In the original game, you'd get a checkpoint when Joel landed on the other side of the treehouse. Uh, the other side of the fence when he hops down from the treehouse. It's to avoid that from happening. Uh, because in this game, the encounter doesn't end until yourself, Bill, and Ellie have hopped down from the treehouse. Now, what's the one downside to that? That! I hop down, he gets a plus sign, there's nothing you can do! <laughs> Dude, somebody thought of that for the original, but didn't think of that for this remake. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not going to cry. No, I'm not going to. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, all right. Get back. There's too many of them. This way. Through the alley. It's literally the only thing that can end an intro run. That's literally the only thing. <laughs> hey! You're not kidding me. You're you're not serious. Why didn't you just do that the first time? You can't hit him when he's doing that. It's every run. It's every goddamn fucking run. They're just gonna aim to the side when they shouldn't be able to. If there was nothing there, it'd be an easy shot. But those railings have hit, have collision. You headshot them, it's just gonna hit the fucking thing. I'm so tired of that ending literally every single fucking slums ever. You weren't kidding about this place, were you? Do that after I leave. Also, still no shotgun drops. Oh, run's dead, by the way. 
Let's tie it on the other side. They heard that, and they were not supposed to. There was absolutely no reason I got alerted there. And I will show you. Give me a moment here. Okay. This is what happened yesterday. Stop sprinting. Start sprinting. No alert. But let's, not to this shit. Let's look at it again. When do I start sprinting? Right there. What did I do after I leave? What did I do in the run? Stop sprinting. I sprinted later. I started sprinting later. It just... <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Get ready. No, I'm dead. That's it. Oh my god. Dude, that's the second time that's happened. That's it. Dude, that is such a dumb way to die. That is such a dumb way to lose the entire thing. I don't even feel like continuing it. That is such a dumb way to lose the whole thing. I have ammo, I have health, I have everything, and I never ever lose runs there. This is an area that's completely unaffected by... by permadeath. There's no difference. Dude, what was that? Why did a runner go left? Dude, that's the second run in a row I started the area out by getting blocked by that runner. <sighs> that was so dumb. There's, I, there's nothing to learn from that. There's just nothing. Like, I usually do that area with one shotgun shell. I had extra and it still didn't work. That really sucks. Literally nothing at all to learn from that. Joel had full health entering the sewers, and by the time he was out, he he, he was dead. That's pathetic. Like, I could have made it out if I didn't take all that damage prior. That... That's just pathetic. Oh, fuck off. Cover me! Sure. I don't know what's gonna happen now. Fuck that. Fuck everything about that. There was no reason for that guy with the melee weapon to run inside the building. I literally did nothing wrong, and then that guy just never came downstairs. I explained in the tutorial that this area is super weird. That shotgun guy is independent from the other two Molotov guys that come out of the building early. He was upstairs that entire time and then ran downstairs at the last second. He never came downstairs. <sighs> Why did... That only happened... That only happened because the melee weapon guy went into the building and there was no reason for it. <sighs> Fuck that. I always worry about a run dying to, like, the financial fight. Not this. I'm super comfortable with this area. But not when he does that. That's so dumb. 
been so long. If there's one thing I remember about the original is it doesn't take long to feel comfortable with it again. They heard that. I literally did not do anything different compared to a time when it works. <sighs> Apparently I didn't jog far enough before I started sprinting. <sighs> it's great. He's dead. Yep. He's never, ever, ever, ever gotten shot in his back before. I had full health. I had full health. There's something about this area that's just extra bad on permadeath. I don't know. I never make it through. That was a perfect slums, no damage, and then that happens. He got shot in his back. He always gets shot from the side. You need to take damage in order to do the fake healing later. But he got shot in his back. Like. That's just. <laughs> one of those things. There is literally nothing I did wrong. And there is nothing to learn from that. And that just makes it extra annoying. Damn it. That didn't attract the bloater. I'm gonna have to go like this the whole way. Dude, I just don't get it. That's it. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I did nothing wrong. I throw it at that specific spot a hundred times out of a hundred times, it's going to distract everybody. Dude, good riddance. That run was not good since Sniper. But of all things it could have died to, that area should be free. Hold on. I'm not even going to stop the recording. Look at this. Encounter select. Eh, hold on. I'll load up the whole file. Encounter select university, the dorms. Grounded. I'm going to throw a bottle at that spot again, and everybody's going to hear it. Fuck that. He heard it. I threw it at that spot. And here he comes. I threw it at that exact spot. Yeah, and he heard that one too. Here he comes. Fuck that. Fuck that. 